Hey guys, and welcome back to another video talking about mid journey. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the parameter describe. So this is where we use an image to create a prompt for us within mid journey. So in a way, we're kind of reverse engineering what we do. So let's jump into it. So we've in Discord and we're going to start by doing our usual forward slash, but we are going to type in the word describe. We're going to press enter and then it wants us to drop an image in. So I'm going to drop an image in. So I went to Dubai uh, last year. Absolutely incredible. Um, so this is my picture that I've, I've taken. So what we're going to do is we've entered it into Jenny and then it is going to come up with some prompts for us to say create another version of it. So what we are going to do is we are going to see this is the image and we are going to right click and we are going to press copy link. As you can see, it has generated one, two, three, four prompts for us. And we are going to, so these are just, um, these are ideas you can add to this if you want to. And by clicking along the bottom, one, two, three, four, you will generate each of those prompts into an image. So if we click on prompt one, what we are going to do is we are going to paste in the link from the image. So this is just giving mid journey extra help to really try and get the new image it's going to create as close to the original one um, as we've put it. So we are going to press submit and I'm going to carry on and I'm going to do that for the rest. So I'm pasting in the link from the picture and I'm going to carry on doing it and I'm going to see what mid journey creates for us. Cool. Okay. So let's see what mid journey has created for us. So click on this first one. You can see that it's got the angle. So this one looks brilliant in quadrant four, very similar angle colors all look amazing. Um, obviously it's not identified the, the buildings, which I would say is a fo is absolutely fine. If you did want to, um, you know, get the building, then you could sort of copy um, the prompt and then you could sort of put in the Royal Atlantis. Um, so you can see that we've got the Royal Atlantis and, and then we've got the Atlantis in the background there. So if you wanted to get um, specific there, you could do. We've then clicked down here. So these are looking slightly different, but still very similar. The tones are, the angle is, and they look really great. Let's keep scrolling down. See these feel like they're going slightly, slightly different, varying away more from um, our original prompt, prompt. And these ones look very different. I would say this one square four does look different and so does square two, but you can just keep re-rolling and generating, you know, different images until you find the right one that works for you. So I just think it's, you know, it's an amazing tool because you're giving yourself that, you know, basis to sort of start with and giving yourself this image. So you've got that starting point to get images very similar to that rather than that really broad blank canvas. So I think it's an amazing parameter to use. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you found it helpful and useful, if you could hit the like button and the subscribe button, it really does mean so, so much to us. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.